Jackie Chan, a Hong Kong, Chinese, American actor, director, producer, stuntman, screenwriter, and singer, is among the most recognized and influential figures in the film industry. Today, we'll talk about Jackie Chan's life and how much he earns. But before we begin, subscribe to the channel, give it a like, and share the video on social media. Born on April 7, 1954, in Hong Kong to a poor family, Chan Kong Sang, Jackie Chan, was a very energetic child. At the age of six, Chan's family moved to Canberra, Australia. The following year, his parents enrolled him in a strict martial arts school in Hong Kong and sent him back. Life in the school was tough for the young Chan. He often worked until midnight and had to wake up at five in the morning. Additionally, the school's harsh rules included physical punishment for mistakes, and Chan was beaten almost every day. Until the age of 17, Jackie studied acrobatics, singing, martial arts, and pantomime. With the skills he acquired, he entered the professional acrobatic industry and was invited to play minor roles as a child actor, and later as a stuntman. After returning to Canberra, Jackie briefly attended Dixon College while working part-time in construction. At work, he was nicknamed Little Jack and was mentored by a builder named Jack. Over time, the nickname was shortened to Jackie, and it stuck with him for life. Jackie Chan's acting career didn't start off very successfully. Directors tried to mold him into another Bruce Lee, but Chan's style didn't fit that of a star. The young actor achieved mass success when he appeared in a film that allowed him to showcase his own stunts. After that, the Hong Kong audience recognized him as the genre of comedic kung fu. Despite fantastic success in Europe, Jackie struggled to gain recognition in North America. It wasn't until he starred in the movie Rush Hour that he became a Hollywood star. This inspired him to write an autobiography titled I Am Jackie Chan. In 2012, at the Cannes Film Festival, stuntman Devil announced his decision to retire from action films. He later clarified that he wasn't completely retiring but reducing the number of stunts due to his age. Besides his successful acting career, Jackie Chan often invests in business projects in China and around the world. He even owns his own theater chain. According to internet sources, his star-studded films have grossed over $5 billion worldwide. It's known that as of 2021, the actor's fortune amounts to $520 million, with a monthly income of $4 million. Such astronomical earnings allow Jackie Chan to invest heavily in real estate. He owns properties in Beverly Hills, Miami, Australia, Phuket Island in Hong Kong, and various locations worldwide. His lavish residence in Beverly Hills comprises five huge apartments, a grand dining hall, a family recreation room, a pool, a jacuzzi, a thermostatic wine cellar, and more. This magnificent estate spans 30,000 square feet and is valued at six to seven million dollars. However, this is not the limit, as one of his two homes in Hong Kong, located in the Kowloon Tong area, is valued at around $1 billion. Jackie Chan has one very cool secret. In a later episode of Nocturne, he confirmed that his home is a labyrinth of secrets. It is penetrated with hidden passages leading to secret rooms throughout the building. Chan even gave a tour of one of them. It's worth noting that to achieve a more discreet lifestyle, all of his homes are hidden from the world in different locations, and each of them is equipped with various secret spaces within. It's not surprising that the legendary action star, for whom risk and speed seem to be in his blood, is also the owner of a luxurious collection of vehicles. Jackie Chan has a special relationship with Mitsubishi, as the company has provided numerous cars for his films. Interestingly, most of these cars were destroyed during filming, but both parties benefited, Mitsubishi received free advertising, while Jackie got free cars. The company even released a special edition Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution called the Jackie Chan Special, limited to 50 units and priced at $77,000 each. The most unusual car in his collection is considered to be a custom Mitsubishi Pajero Turbo. Chan used this strange vehicle while wearing god armor in the film Operation Condor 2, and afterward, he brought it home. His favorite car is the Lamborghini Aventador. While its exterior may appear ordinary, the interior is exceptionally exclusive, adorned with eastern motifs, dragons, glyphs, and more. For business meetings, Jackie uses a Bentley Mulsanne, 
in which he once starred in a commercial as a high-class Bentley chauffeur. Unlike his cars, Jackie Chan carefully conceals his personal life. However, some facts have made headlines in the press. In 1982, he married Taiwanese actress Lin Fengjiao, and the same year, their son, singer and actor J.C. Chan, was born. It's said that Jackie has a strong love for his son, as he doesn't intend to leave him anything for misfortune. Explain your decision in your own words. If he's capable, he can earn money on his own. If not, he'll just waste my money. Once, there was a scandal with Candy when Chan was caught in an extramarital affair with Elaine Ng, resulting in the birth of their illegitimate daughter, Etta Ng Chok Lam. Remarkably, the information about the affair was only disclosed by the world-famous celebrity in his autobiography. Perhaps such mystery is explained by the fact that the actor has been surrounded by secrecy since birth. His parents' lives could be the plot of an action movie. Jackie Chan grew up knowing that his father was an actor. However, learning that his real name was Fang Daolong and that he led criminal gangs because he served in the People's Liberation Army of China and was its secret agent came as a shock. Furthermore, Jackie's mother was a legendary gambler in Shanghai. His father met her when he arrested her for smuggling goods into China. Jackie learned these deep family secrets only at a very mature age. After his mother's death in 2001, he even commissioned films, paying for the rights to all archival footage. He didn't try to profit from the film that revealed such an intimate part of his life. He shed a few tears, imagining how his parents survived during the war. The era of silent films greatly influenced Jackie Chan, deeply touching his sentiments. His flawless form as an actor was compared to stars of the genre like Charlie Chaplin and Buster Keaton. He once confessed to the New York Times, I wanted to be like Chaplin and Keaton, but all the martial arts directors I worked with tried to make me into a Bruce Lee copy. In response to this, Chan rebelled against the legacy of Bruce Lee and his imitators by crafting his own personal style. Chan's persona blends tough martial arts mastery with a cartoonish comedic style. Contrary to the stern, morally upright heroes, he portrays well-intentioned but somewhat foolish ordinary men, often finding themselves at the mercy of their friends or family. Each of Jackie Chan's roles required a vast array of stunts, which often resulted in numerous injuries. He was wounded on set over 70 times, breaking his nose three times, his ankle once, fingers, toes, thigh, sternum, both cheekbones, and his skull. Many of these incidents were not just harmful to his health but also life-threatening. For instance, Jackie narrowly escaped death from a fall off a tree and received a permanent hole in his skull as a result. In addition to damaging his hearing while working on the God Armor suit, Jackie Chan almost drowned during the filming of his thriller, The Avant-Garde. Considering the dangerous nature of his stunts, insurance companies are often reluctant to sponsor Chan's productions where he independently performs complex maneuvers. For his record-breaking number of takes in a single film, around 3,000, for being mentioned the most times in the credits, 15 times, for the largest number of stunts performed by a single actor, and for being the overall record holder for stunts performed throughout his film career, Jackie Chan has been entered into the Guinness Book of World Records four times. The living legend of Kung Fu Hollywood not only impresses with his martial arts skills but also with his vocal abilities. His favorite hobby has grown into a separate direction of creative development. Chan was introduced to music in childhood when he took vocal lessons at the Beijing Opera School. He performs his songs in several languages, and they are compiled into 20 original albums. The actor often sings soundtracks for his own films, which play during the credits. Additionally, Chan voiced the character Shang in the Chinese version of Disney's Mulan animated film. It seems that the legendary Jackie Chan is someone we could talk about endlessly, as he's such a multifaceted personality. He speaks seven languages and is involved in serious business ventures. He can voice animated characters, jump out of airplanes and land on hot air balloons. Jackie can even command a car to somersault on its own. It's fascinating, is there anything he can't do? In conclusion, Jackie Chan stands as a testament to the epitome of versatility and talent. His multifaceted persona, mastery of multiple languages, and adeptness in various fields, from acting to business, leave us in awe.
Whether it's voicing animated characters or performing jaw-dropping stunts like jumping from planes to hot air balloons, Jackie continually pushes the boundaries of what seems possible. Yet, amidst his myriad accomplishments, one might wonder if there's anything beyond his reach. Nevertheless, the enduring legacy of Jackie Chan remains an enduring source of inspiration and admiration for generations to come. Thank you for today. If you found the video interesting, don't hesitate to like and subscribe. There are many more exciting videos coming up on the channel.